Hello, how to solve for k in this equation? k multiplied by k multiplied by k minus k multiplied by k is equal to 180. Solution. Now here we have k multiplied by k multiplied by k. This is k to the power of 3 minus here we have k multiplied by k this is k square is equal to 180 now 180 is equal to 216 minus 36 then here we have k to the power of 3 minus k square is equal to let's replace this 180 by 216 minus 36 216 minus 36 now here we have k to the power of 3 minus k square then let's bring this to this side we have minus 216 plus 36 is equal to 0. Now here we have k to the power of 3 minus k square minus 216 is 6 to the power of 3 plus 36 is c square is equal to zero then we have k to the power of 3 here and 6 to the power of 3 here this can be written as k to the power of 3 minus 6 to the power of 3 then here we have minus this k square and this minus c square is equal to zero then here if you open this bracket with this negative minus multiply by k square it will give you minus k square then minus multiply by minus c square it will give you plus c square now here and this take note of this that if you have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 this is equal to a minus b bracket a square plus a b plus b square also with this if you have a square minus b square this is equal to a plus b bracket a minus b then where a is equal to k and b is equal to 6 now let's substitute here we have k minus 6 bracket here we have k square plus 6 multiplied by k plus c square then minus here we have k plus 6 bracket k minus 6 is equal to 0 now here k minus 6 is common here k minus 6 is common here let's bring it out we have k minus 6 bracket if we divide this by this we have k square plus 6 multiplied by k this is 6k plus 6 square that is 36 then minus if you divide this by this we have 
k plus 6 is equal to 0. Then here we have k minus 6 bracket k square plus 6k plus 36. Let's open the bracket minus k minus 6 is equal to 0. k minus 6 equal to 0 and the second case is k square plus 5k plus 30 is equal to 0. Now let's consider this first case. From here, k is equal to 6. This is the first value of k. And from here, this is a quadratic equation which can be solved using quadratic general formula. We know that quadratic general formula is giving us x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. But here we are looking for the value of k and from this equation a is equal to 1, b equal to 5, C is equal to 30. Then from here, K is equal to B is 5. We have minus 5 plus or minus square root of 5 square minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 30 divided by 2 multiplied by 1. Here is 2a. <coughs> then k is equal to minus 5 plus or minus square root of 5 squared. This is 25 minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 30. This is 120 divided by 2 multiplied by 1, 2. Then k is equal to minus 5 plus or minus square root of 25 minus 120. This is minus 95 divided by 2. We have k is equal to minus 5 plus or minus square root of this minus 95 can be written as 95 multiplied by minus 1 divided by 2. K is equal to minus 5 plus or minus this can be written as square root of 95 I divided by 2. Then therefore we have K is equal to minus 5 plus square root of 95 i divided by 2 or k is equal to minus 5 plus or minus square root of 95 i divided by 2. Therefore, our final answers are k1 is equal to 6, k2 is equal to minus 5 plus square root of 
95 i divided by 2 and k3 is equal to minus 5 minus square root of 95 i divided by 2. You can see that here we have two complex roots and only real root. This is the real root. And this is complex root. This is also complex root. We can check to confirm if this answer is right or wrong. Let's check using the real root we have, which is this. To check, we have the given equation k multiplied by k multiplied by k minus k multiplied by k is equal to 180. Now, when k is equal to 6, we have 6 multiplied by 6 multiplied by 6 minus 6 multiplied by 6 must be equal to 180. 6 times 6, 36 times 6, this is 216 minus 6 times 6, this is 36, must be equal to 180. Then here, if we subtract 36 from 216, we have 180 is equal to 180, which is true. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Bye.